Um, it's about 11 o'clock at night. I was on my way up to check for moths, really, just to have a look. I found a beautiful ermine moth earlier today, and I thought I'd come out with a, a light trap to see if I could get anything. It's a bit early in the year, but um, as I was setting it up, I noticed a new on the deck, a palmate female. So I had a look in the pond, and uh, although a lot of them have, have ducked down underneath, there are a tremendous amount of newts this year and I thought I'd just do a, catch a quick video of it. If I put the light on now, hopefully I won't disturb too many of them. You should be able to see the newts in here. There's a, there we go. Female palmate there. See what else we can see. Loads of snails. There's a, a couple of uh, that looks like a a male palmate there. There's a beautiful male smooth newt over there, and another uh, possibly a palmate male or. Even a smooth newt female there. It's so hard to tell apart, particularly the females of the species. Uh, I think one's got a speckled chin, if I remember rightly. Everything seems to be doing really well this year in the pond. Even a, a late frog over here, just poking out. And all the others have left. I think that's uh, Stumpy. We've got one with only one leg. And I noticed after the they'd spawned earlier in the year that he was still here. So it's possible that that is Stumpy. And he's hanging around because it either he can't get out or he's finding it difficult on land and is just preferring it in the water. But he was here last year and uh, he was clamped onto a female. So I think he's doing okay. And if he chooses to stay, he's, he's obviously doing quite well. So I'm happy to see him here. There's another smooth, uh, smooth male down here, just, uh, just there. If you can see that, got a really good um, mixture this year. I haven't seen the potential great crested that I found last year on the deck, which is why I picked it up. Um, consensus seems to be that it was a, a neotenic great crested newt so I'm hopeful that it was there are a couple of uh, there's a palmate female there a palmate male sorry and a smooth newt male there and palmate female and another one there there's uh, they seem to be all coming up again there's just I've never seen this many mind you I've not really been up at night a tremendous amount but this pond is uh, is very good for newts. It's a complete success story. I'm really pleased. Last year, I I counted in one night in in sort of a couple of minutes 52, which was uh, really encouraging. But I think it's even higher this year. He's a beauty there. If you're wondering why I'm always sniffing on my videos, it's because, uh, ironically, I suffer from quite a lot of uh, allergies to tree pollen, which is late this year, and grass and and I, considering I spend most of my time in the garden it's probably not the best thing but that is why I sniff a lot it's not a tick or anything he says sniffing but uh, if anyone else has, uh, has got a pond and wants to have a look at night I'd be interested to know particularly if you live in Kent um, if you're newts are doing really well as well. 
I mean, I imagine that a, a wet spring, or if you can call it a spring, I mean, we had a tremendously late winter and uh, it's been wet so far. If, if that has, has helped the newts, I know they're not dying, they're not becoming dehydrated a couple of years ago. I was finding so many dead newts because we had a spell with no rain and they really suffered, but it could be converse this year and they're actually doing really well because of a wet spring. So I'd be interested to know if that's that's the case for you as well. A lot of snails this year. I haven't seen too many wandering snails, but the uh, little clump of mating snails there and a smooth newt in the middle of it all. You see so much more at night than you do in the day. I think that one is just about to prey on that nymph there. I'm not, maybe he's just, uh, he's going underneath. I thought for a moment he was going to spray on that. It looks like possibly a red damselfly nymph or something. Got a pregnant female there, um, here. And that, that there, I believe, with a speckled head, that the the palmate males. That's how I'm telling them apart. If that's wrong, let me know. But I believe that is a palmate male, and this uh, this is potentially a palmate female there. I'm getting better at identifying them. I mean, the males are, between the species are, are quite easy, but like I say, it's the females I have trouble with. So that would be a palmate male there. I mean the, the smooth newts and the palmate newts have no trouble. There's absolutely no trouble between the species. I often wonder how they actually tell each other apart when it comes to mating. They might have a, a different ritual. I know both species use the tail flicking to as a sort of mate um, courting thing. There are a lot of similarities but I obviously no interbreeding but not sure how, maybe it's chemical. Now they're all coming back out now. This is the, going towards the number that there were when I came out initially. Yeah, there's plenty now. And this is only a tiny part of my pond. This is like a square metre that we've been looking at. And the pond is about on average five meters by two meters so you know that I would imagine I've got over a hundred newts here let's take a look over here So um, I'm going to stop filming now, but please leave a comment if you've got a wildlife pond. I'd be really interested to see or to hear um, how your newts are doing. There's no doubt in my mind that mine are doing really well. Thanks for watching.